Hi again and welcome to another episode of Troubleshoot This. My name is Chris and in this one we are updating the BIOS on your ASRock motherboards. Let's get started. Alright, first thing to do with regards to updating your BIOS is to figure out what version of BIOS your motherboard has. And to do that we're going to use, no not that one, we're going to use uh, Edge here and just type in CPU-Z. This is a nifty little software that tells you a lot of information about your system including what BIOS uh, version your motherboard has, what model your uh, motherboard is. Um, but for, for this specific video we are using a B450M AC from ASRock which is what we um, commonly use on most of our builds. So once we got it downloaded, let's uh, accept the agreement, hit next, create a desktop, that'll be desktop icon, shortcut, that'll be the easiest. Nobody reads that, so uncheck that, unless you have spare time in your life. And here we go, close that one, launch the program, wait for the loading screen to finish. Almost there. Here we go. Okay, so you got information with regards to your CPUs, mainboard memory, speed, graphics, bench, a lot of different uh, aspects of your system. But the one that we're most concerned about for this uh, specific application would be the mainboard. So as you can see, the manufacturer will be ASRock. The model will be B450MAC here. And as you can see, this is our BIOS, uh, basically the BIOS area right here and the version is 1.5. What we need to do now is uh, go back to our browser, type in b450m forward slash ac, make sure it is the ASRock website here, so click on that one, okay, and there's going to be this bar here. We want to click on the support and under that will be BIOS. Now you can see here that we are way below on the list with our um, BIOS version. We are actually 1.5. It's in between 1 and 1.2, duh, uh, because it is a um, it's basically a version that is uh, used for uh, integrators and other like bigger companies like system builders and stuff like that. So it is still an older one, and we want to upgrade. Let's get this out of the way to the 2.6 version so make sure you also read these because some of the BIOS updates will require a prerequisite version before you're able to to upgrade to that one to the one that you're trying to basically trying to flash into your system so far here there is no uh, yeah there is no prerequisites and the benefits of doing this uh, actually with just the 2.3 version you can now use the 5000 series CPU that just came out so yay for upgrades but we want to basically push it another notch and just just go for the latest one and there we go we actually downloaded it once you have it on your system you should click on the compressed folder tools extract it it's gonna create a folder in your downloads uh, area right here and I already have a a flash uh, flash drive, a USB thumb drive already in my uh, plugged into my USB. So it's you can see it's right here. We just need to copy this into the root directory of that, which I believe I have a lot of other ones too. Yeah, we'll replace the file there. And that's as far as it, I mean, that's it. As far as we go with regards to uh, getting the BIOS file. Now, for the, uh, for the actual BIOS uh, update process, go ahead and restart your computer. Now, once the system blanks out and reboots, uh, start tapping on the delete key on your keyboard. It's gonna be on top of the arrow keys don't mind the colored bars <laughs> so I don't know if you hear it 
tapping on the delete key to get into BIOS and here we are once we are in the BIOS screen um, we want to go to the tool the tab tool tab right here up top and select instant flash now once you click that it'll search your flash drive for a compatible um, BIOS update file for the specific motherboard model and so in this case it's the B45MAC 2.6 so let's click update and click yes on that one and we'll let this run and we'll come back after it's done All right, once we get to this screen, the BIOS update is complete. It has finished flashing your system to the uh, latest one. Um, all we have to do here is press Enter to reboot or click OK. And there we go. Let's just wait for the system to boot back up. It shouldn't take too long. It's probably going to be faster than me achieving my goals in life. But, you know, can't have everything. All right, there's our ASRock logo. And... I'm pretty sure these lines are being recorded because of my capture card but it should take us to the desktop pretty soon and then we'll double check for the BIOS version on the desktop after that you are all set give it a second here we go All right, we are back on the desktop, and let's double check if the BIOS update actually went through. Let's launch CPU Z again. Click yes. Almost there. And click on the main board tab as always. There we go, our version is now 2.6, which means we have updated to the latest one. Your system will now be compatible with the uh, 5000 series processors. If ever you were having any issues with audio or uh, blue screens probably from the previous one, update it to this one as they have a lot of um, basically compatibility and stability updates that were done on this version. So that's pretty much it for this video. I hope it helped you out and uh, yeah, I mean, we'll see you on the next one. Thanks, and have a great day.